Is an outdoor nail salon a good idea? This is something you may have contemplated if you live in the state of California. We're gonna talk about this right now. Very interesting uh, topic yeah. that we have today. A little background. Um, basically, the state of California shut down hair salons and nail salons mm -hmm. again. Yep. Um, for, in their opinion, what is, um, you know, taking uh, precaution to slow down the spread. California has definitely had a huge peak in cases. Um, I think in, in the major counties, I don't think it's across, I don't think it's statewide. I think in major counties, um, this is the situation, LA County, San Diego County, um, Riverside, I think there's San like, Francisco, what, 30, 30 counties, something like that. Yeah. yeah. And including restaurants. Restaurants are kind of working on the same. Absolutely. Outdoors. Ab for sure. Exactly. And then, um, basically, uh, the governor of California said, well, um, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, you can, you can do your salon if it's outdoors. Um, and there's, so <laughs> part of what's challenging about that idea is that temperature mm. is a major issue when it comes to salons. Now I'm, I'm not a, uh, what do you call it, disease expert by any means, okay? I'm not claiming to know what is the right call for the state. I can't make that decision. That's why I'll never be governor um, of the state. Thank, thank God. I, I know, <laughs> Tracy's going to say, thank goodness. Um, but do I have an opinion on salons? And of course I do. You know what okay. I mean? It is rough for salons. They've had probably one of the roughest goes through this whole entire period. And um, it is insanely difficult for salons navigating through this crisis right now. Yeah. And um, I think, this is my take on this, mm. okay? I think that solution is lazy. Um, I think it's, not thought out at all. And some would say, well, at least it's some solution. Not really, actually. It's not really a solution for nail salons. I can't comment on hair because I don't um, I don't know all the details of hair. For nail salons, it's not a solution. Yeah. It's almost like throwing, it's not taking the time to understand salons. Clearly, the governor and, and his team did not think this through because... Most products that are used in nails are temperature sensitive. Mm -hmm. It's freaking July, okay? It's hot in California and are also UV sensitive. Gel polishes, hard gels, and most, most color services use gel polish right now, like that as the color versus nail polish. But even nail polish is insanely temperature sensitive, acrylic too acrylic like, the hotter it gets the faster, faster. it sets like exactly. it's just a nightmare to Ex deal with exactly so even if you're outside and you're in the shade those are still all huge concerns <laughs> in the shade i mean <laughs> <laughs> i know come on okay first of all yes it's i, I think i you know they can tint and they so many things have to be open but let let, let me let's discuss the difference between outdoor eating and nail or hair. I can kind of speak right. to hair because I know people with sure. hair a little bit. Sure. Um, but restaurants, okay, they're they're doing outside seating. I'm sure that's a really big pain for them. I I've seen. I, I know that they're struggling. It's hot still. Yeah. It's It's hot, but they get to go inside and cook everything. Right. They cook the meals. Then it gets brought out. So they're still working inside right. and being able to do all their magic inside. Nails and hair, everything has to be outside because you're applying it to the customer outside. Correct. So how, Habib, how, I'm doing your hair. I'm putting color in it. Where am I washing your hair at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The hose? Like, 
I'm just, I just have that visual. I'm gonna get power wash. Green you know, garden hose. Power wash. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like, it, it nails. Like, how? It, and I know we're probably gonna get a lot of comments on this, but and I've been trying to really work through this in my own brain. How is this more sanitary than working in a completely sanitary area right. inside? Right. I don't. First of all, when they first said it, I'm like, that's not possible. It's it's not legal. For a state board of California, you'll lose your license. You're not supposed to be working outside. Right. So how is it all of a sudden all these rules that were put there for people's safety and san- being sanitary and all this, all of a sudden pff, are just out gone. the window? Just go work outside. Yeah. It, it, and... and <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. Keep going. Let it, let it go, sister. You can't give people water. (laughs) You can't give them water. How? I'm, I'm from Reading. It's 118 in Reading. Yeah. At times, and I can't give them water, a bottle of water. Right. Um, One of our mentors, I won't mention names. The other day, she's like, "This person's client started choking. I, I, I didn't know what to do. Like, I, she's like, I went and got her water. Yeah. I could get fined." For that, yeah. So, but the person was choking, not COVID. Yeah, choking, choking like right. it, it happens. <laughs> I'm just, how does any of, again, it, it to me, and I'm, you know me, I'm, I'm not a political person, right? Um, how it to, to me, you are just throwing, trying to throw us a bone, throwing, you know. Yeah. Well, I gave you a solution. That's not a solution. It's not a solution. No, but but see that that's that's the issue I have with this is that it's masking as a solution, but it's not. It's very very clear and obvious. It has not been thought out to any degree. It was someone on the team was like, "Hmm, just let them go outside. That'll that'll give it, get them off our Restaurants backs." Restaurants are doing it. It was perfect. They're, yeah. they're they're making it work. Yeah. What's wrong with that? And it's like you 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 can't. Now, like nail products are, they've got to be temperature, temperature controlled. It's not okay. You can't, they're not going to function properly, much less um, like when you apply them, but even just like having them outside yeah. stored, like they're supposed to be stored in a cool, dry place. Yeah. Like you, you can't just do that. It's not okay. And, and that's the major issue I have with this is it wasn't thought out yeah. to completion. Didn't talk to any one in the industry obviously correct correct and like why not find um like really try to look for a solution and again i'm not that's why i'm not claiming to be a you know epidemiologist (laughs) no i'm not a disease expert i i'm not a i'm not a doctor i'm not you know a physician i don't have any of that um all i can comment on is that that is not a proper solution for, for the nail business. Now, you know, how, what is that balance? Like, what is that balance between safety and then having people being able to work is the gazillion dollar question. You know what I mean? And it's supposed to be up to the people um, running the state to talk to everybody, to have the proper resources of information and then to come up with a solution that can actually work so that you do have that balance of making sure people are protected because that is important, like 100%, Huge. and also that they can work. And what what our state did was not think it through. And just, that's the part that just, pisses me off. Just, maybe I'm wrong. It's just not giving a crap. Right, right. If you don't take the time to actually talk to people in the industry and you give a solution that is just completely, completely impractical. And I know that there's a lot of people suffering right now in all yeah, kinds of different industries. Sure. Um, but I'm <clears throat> reading these comments from these nail techs. I'm talking to my friends yeah. that are, and I mean, they're, you know, it was hard when the first lockdown happened. That was hard. And, but, every, you know, they're like, I'm we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it. Yeah. Got to go back and immediately it's just a gut check, you know, and then almost um, this, you know, well, you can work outside is an insult. It is. It's, 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 it's a huge gut check. Yeah, like big time. just, 
Um, and I, 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 I t- was telling you some of the things I've been reading. I mean, there, there's people that are, are they've had stroke. Yeah, they're they're going bankrupt. They're pleading. Yep. With you know, um, the the state state yep. to please hear us out. Just give me five minutes of your time. Um, and oh, it just it makes me sick. Well, I think the big thing here is like like. Uh, this is not a political statement mm. at all. Like I have my beliefs. This is not about my beliefs at all. This is just about, it could have been, it doesn't matter who's in office. You know, if it, whoever is in office pumping out these solutions, it's bad, period, end of story. It, it doesn't matter for our industry. I'm speaking about our industry specifically. It's not done with any bit of like thought and real consideration and there's a lot of people that are hurting from this yeah. and and i think that's the thing we're we're very close to our community yeah. like we we comments dms we're we're all over them it's how we get it's why we're creating this video right now because we've seen a lot of the comments come through yeah. and how much people are hurting and you know, I was telling Tracy before this, she was telling me that story of someone that, you know, had a stroke from all the stress, the financial stress. I understand that, you know, I was saying that shit's real. You know, financial stress is one of the worst, most painful things anybody can, can really experience when when you you have that kind of struggle and you're trying to figure out how am I going to live? How am I going to keep, you know, roof over my head? How am I going to, like, I'm going to go broke. How am I going to, like. My employees. Yeah, my employees. Like, and then you start thinking of food. How am I going to, like, these things will completely drive somebody to insanity. Yeah. And um, I've, like, I've been there and it sucks. I think all we're trying to say is instead of hacking something together, you know, and just throwing something out to the beauty industry put talk to people in the industry communicate and and then maybe create some real like a real solution something that can actually work so that people can get back to work you know again it's all about that balance of like i'm not saying um okay, disregard COVID and just Hmm. open up salons. I'm not saying that. Not at all. I'm saying fine because we know, we know it's like protection and having people masked up and gloved up. What we do here and we do social distancing and everything we do at our organization has been huge and key in keeping employees and our team safe. That can work with salons. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's why they're in the position that they're in to think of these things. They're much smarter than I will ever, <laughs> at least yeah. I think so. Well, I'm hoping um, that if, I'm they're hoping. Ta- if they're talking to the right people, yes. And it yeah. still might not be a solution that we like. My, you know what my big fear is, Habib, is this solution gets thrown out that it just doesn't work. I'm sorry, it doesn't work. But for them to go, then to turn a blind eye to our, our industry because right. well we gave you a solution we gave you a solution so we're just going to keep it like that for a long time and that's not a solution like we have to you know we have to have something else so that's my fear is like now yeah. we did something and we're just going to keep it that way for a long time and we're not going to come up with any other solutions that's, yeah that's what i worry yeah about. we gave you a solution now please uh, be quiet yeah go away go away and uh well you om- you've insulted the industry because we clearly see you didn't take the time to understand. If you did, you would know that that's not a real solution. Right. And then it would be better if you just maybe waited a few days, talk to some professionals in the industry, some real experts in the industry. What does that solution look like? Okay. You know what I mean? And then look at different options of what that could actually look like so people can actually go back to work. Let us know what you think on this issue. I'm super curious i know tracy is too we'd love to hear from you get on this out. issue get yeah it get it out vent vent people. man i'm telling you vent it up in the comment section we'd love to hear from you thank you tracy thank so you. much thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next time on the biz talk <laughs>